The only way to beat the loud and angry voices of hate is to meet them with louder and more reasonable voices. And that includes you, President Trump. In fact, as president of this great country, you have a moral responsibility to send an unequivocal message that you won't stand for hate and racism. Now, let me help you write your speech here a little bit. As president of the United States and as a Republican, I reject the support of white supremacists. The country that defeated Hitler's armies is no place for Nazi flags. Was that that difficult? You see, I told you. <laughs> I have a message to the neo-Nazis and to the white nationalists and to the neo-Confederates. You heroes are losers. You're supporting a lost cause. And believe me, I know the original Nazis. And I can tell you that these ghosts that you idolize spent the rest of their lives living in shame. And right now, they're resting in hell. I know that you weren't born with these hateful views. It's never too late to make the choices to learn and to evolve and to understand that all human beings have equal value. If you say, Arnold, hey, I was just at the march. Don't call me a Nazi. I have nothing to do with Nazis at all. Let me help you. Don't hang around people who carry Nazi flags, give Nazi salutes or shout Nazi slogans. Go home. Or better yet, tell them that they're wrong to celebrate an ideology that murdered millions of people. Let's all commit right now to leaving the terrible ghosts of the past in the trash heap of history.